Hi. For all the guys out there thinking about coming to Asia, perhaps Thailand or the Philippines, I have a cautionary tale. All, all of the big wrong decisions that I have made in my lifetime involved my relationship with women. My best example is from 1974. I landed a job with Keith Bruet and Woods in New York City. They're an investment banker, very prestigious. They're still in business. I left that job a couple of months later to take a position at a clothing store, a woman's boutique chain where my wife worked. And at the time, I justified that decision because it would be closer to where I lived. It was closer to home, almost no commute. But the real reason that I took that job, the reason that I was lying to myself about, I, I wasn't even admitting it to myself. The reason I took the job was because I would be surrounded by beautiful women. I've made good choices too, and I have had a good life one that I'm proud of. And I'm reaping the benefits of that life today because I have a wonderful pension from my days back in the New York City Fire Department. And again, I'm very proud of, of what I did there. So it's been easy to dismiss that idiotic decision that I made back in 1974. But had I stayed with Keith Ruet and Woods, I would most likely be a very wealthy man today. I've made other bonehead moves that are far less dramatic than the one that I made at Keep Right in Woods. <laughs> but that one sure does top the list. <laughs> this video that I'm making now came about when I was writing a story. It, it was an insight that came out of a story that I was writing. I don't always uh, write the stories that I make videos out of, but I sometimes do. I, I, I don't follow a script, but if I have a complicated or a complex story, it's nice to write a story about it and it kind of puts the information into my mind so I could deliver it when I'm talking to the camera. Well, I'm writing this story about my friend in Singapore who uh, got deported from Singapore. And he's actually the person most responsible for my coming to Bangkok. I stayed in touch with him. He wound in Bangkok, wound up in Bangkok and did very, very well. I'll finish that story and you'll see it in another video. But what was remarkable about it is the writing process. Now, anybody that's written will probably understand this, but very often writing is, is a, uh, a process that can give one insight into themselves. And I had gaps to fill in in my friend's life, things that I didn't really know. So I had to make up some, you know, uh, fictional anecdotes or literary license to fill in the storyline. And I realized as I was writing about that is that I wasn't writing about my friend. I was writing about me, fictionally. And again, this was kind of a, a, an intuitive process that occurred. And that's where the insight came for the video that I'm making now about my relationship with women. Now, again, it's not that unusual for a writer or anybody for that matter to gain new kind of aha insights into themselves. It's just not the type of thing that I expect to happen much anymore at my age. I'm 74 years old, so here I am sitting here with this newfound perspective of my relationship with women and in the negative ways that it, it, it impacted my life. And again, I've had a good life, so I don't want to overdo the negative thing, but it really did have a negative impact in many parts of my life. And I thought I should make a video about that. A few years ago, an 80-year-old Chinese guy had a viral video. He was in great shape, very active, and at 80 years old became a fashion model. I was inspired. In his video, he revealed a lot about himself and his life. Although one of the commenters pointed out that he wasn't married. There weren't any women with him in the video. I laughed, but I took note. <laughs>
a lot of successful men get a little lost when they retire. Their profession had become their entire identity. So when they retire and they come to a place like Asia, they can go down what ultimately turns into a pretty depressing path. In a recent video with Bangkok Pat that I was part of, Pat talked about the dangers of drinking too much and how more often than it should occur, retired expats lose their grounding, their, their, their ethical and moral compass, and they, they kind of begin chasing an unhealthy hedonistic lifestyle that many women here in Asia know how to exploit. So, if you're coming to Asia looking for romance, remember, you're the prize. Is that the truth? It is if you say so. Here's how I keep meaning present for myself in my retirement. I do my mundane daily chores with the same attention to excellence I would have approached my mundane chores with when, when I was back in New York City working as an officer in one of the world's busiest fire companies. Such a perspective not only creates meaning for me, when I go out, I look good. Physical fitness is key. I made it part of my job when I was a fireman. I do the same thing now. Yoga is the foundation of my workouts. And I do weekly weight training too. Light weights, high reps. I acknowledge my age and avoid injury. But the key the real key to old guy fitness is diet. Another vestige of my fireman days is cooking. I learned how to cook in the firehouse. Today, I make a lot of my own meals with healthy choices. Now, if you're not into cooking, here in Bangkok, there are plenty of places to find decent prepared food. The salad bar Tops Markets is one of them. There are street food carts everywhere you go here as well. But keep in mind that Thai cooking is often loaded with sugar. The sauces that they put on it and the, the way that they cook. So find vendors who, uh, who can cook for you without that. They're here and you can find them. A beautiful Thai lass whose own identity is wrapped up in taking care of a man who supports her is actually a beautiful thing. And if that's what you're looking for, you can find that here in Thailand and other places in Asia. And if that's what you want, go get it. But I bring meaning to my life today through the things that I just mentioned and my writing, my photography, and these videos that I'm making. So there are women in my life, but I just focus my attention elsewhere. If you're still here watching, you know, thanks for being here. This is a very personal video for me. I wasn't going to make it, but I thought, you know, that's what this is supposed to be about. It's supposed to be revealing. So everything in here is really about me. Uh, so yeah, again, thanks for watching. I'll see you soon.